Hello ladies and gentlemen, in this video I'm going to show you guys how to overclock an i9 10900K. So the first thing is to access your BIOS. Mine is an ASUS Z490 motherboard. This is how the BIOS looks like. So to access your BIOS, just restart your computer. Press F2 repeatedly or the appropriate key to access it. So the first thing we're going to do is go to Advanced on the bottom right hand side of the page. Click on that. Then we're gonna go on Extreme Tweaker, click on that. So the first thing you wanna do is turn on your XMP. Make sure it's enabled instead of auto on XMP1. If you haven't done that, take your RAM to the rated speed set by your manufacturer. Second step is to go to ASUS Multi-Core Enhancement. Should be set to auto, let BIOS optimize. Click on Enable, remove all limits. We're gonna go to SVID, Civit, Behavior, click on it, click Typical Scenario. It depends how good your components are. If you have really good components, just select Best Case Scenario. However, this option may change by the motherboard itself, uh, depending on how it uh, reacts to your overclock. Next, go to ABX Instruction, Core Ratio Negative Offset, set it to 0. Next, go to CPU core ratio. Should be set to auto. Press on sync all cores. After you do that, you should get a new option, all core ratio limit. So I'm setting it on 53, which is 5.3 gigahertz. You can begin with a modest 5.1 gigahertz. Turbo boost for a 9910900K is a 4.9 gigahertz. So 5.1 is safe as I've checked. Uh, mine is not a silicon lottery chip, it's just the normal one. So 5.2 works well for me. You can try 5.1 or 5.2, whatever you like. And if you have a really beefy cooler, really good motherboard, just go with 5.3. I'm gonna scroll down. I'm gonna go to Digi and VR. And I'm gonna click on that. So go to CPU load line calibration. So if you're just a gamer, you're just using your CPU for gaming, browsing, emails, normal things, set it to 5. However, if you're using your processor for rendering in uh, 4K Ultra HD, using really tough uh, and stressful programs, just uh, set it on 6 or set it on 7. So now I'm just going to keep mine on 6. So what does CPU load line calibration do? So on an ASUS motherboard, this controls voltage drop. So level one means maximum voltage drop. The voltage is gonna drop a lot. Level four is what it recommends, ASUS recommends. This is very safe, playing it very safe. I prefer five, six, and seven. Eight is too much, it's way too extreme. You're gonna crash way too much. And, uh, depends, some people can use it if you have a really good uh, CPU processor, a good silicon lottery chip, you can use level eight. But uh, for most of you guys, you're going to use level six. If you're comfortable with that, if everything's good, just go to level seven. So on level six, on level seven, it's going to minimize as much as possible the voltage drop you have. So what's this going to do is it's going to increase. There's going to be a lot of heat, more heat, because the voltage is always going to go be at the what is set manually. And I'll show you guys how to set the voltage. So we're going to set the voltage at uh, 1.37, which is quite optimal for an i9-10900K. Some people say 1.4, but unfortunately it's a very hot processor and 1.37 has worked wonderful with me, for me, so I'm gonna set this to level six. All right, we're done here, so we're just gonna go click on back. I'm gonna go to internal CPU power management. I'm gonna click on that. So maximum CPU core temperature, I set mine at 97, so it's not gonna actually reach 97, then shut off. Uh, what uh, uh, the motherboard does, it predicts if it's gonna hit 97. And then if it's gonna hit 97, it predicts like a second later, it's gonna, it's on 94 degrees. And then a second later, it's gonna be on 97. It'll shut down at 94 degrees centigrade. So you can place it as high as you want. Mine's 97. I'm just gonna increase it to 98. Processors can handle a lot of heat. Uh, it's all right, because, uh, when you're overclocking, there's just gonna be heat. It's uh, 
just how it is. Next, we're gonna go down to CPU core, cache, current limit max. You're gonna set it to the max. The maximum is 255.75. What you can do is just click 11111, click enter, 255.75. Won't yet let you go more than that. Next, we're gonna click on long duration package power limit. Set it in 4095, that is the maximum. For this, keep it on auto or short duration package power limit. Set it on the maximum, 4095 again. And for IAC and DC, just keep them how they are. However, below on the VMAX stress, not all of you may have this, I'm not sure about this, but if you have it, disable it. Because what it does, if enabled frequency may be clipped, if the max voltage on the silicon is too high. We don't want that. So next, we're gonna go back. So next, we're gonna go to, we're gonna go down. We're gonna go to CPU core, cache voltage. We're gonna set it from auto to manual. So I want you to set it at the give you box over here, CPU core voltage override, set it to 1.37. However, if you try this overclock, every motherboard is different, every CPU is different, every processor is different, even if they are the same kind. So if you crash or you face some problems, just increase the voltage to 1.38. If you have a really beefy cooler. Uh, however, if you feel that 1.37 is too high and you're doing well, you can take it uh, to 1.36. But 1.37 has worked uh, really well for me. Okay, and that's all for this. So now I'm gonna click on Advanced. I'm gonna click on CPU configuration. Now this is very important. So there's a lot of programs built in by Intel and the motherboard which uh, just interfere with the overclock. It's gonna cause a lot of problems for us. So what you aim to do, go to CPU power management control, click on that. Keep boost performance mode, turbo performance, keep that, don't change that. So for Intel speed step, disable that, we don't need that. Intel speed shift technology, disable that as well. Turbo mode, keep it enabled and keep everything else as it is. So now just go to easy mode and click on save and exit. So as you can see over here, my voltage is moving. That's because of the load line calibration. So I've set it at 1.37, but it won't let me reach 1.37. And right now, because, so see, this is the maximum, 1.368. It's not gonna go to 1.37, and that's because of the load line calibration. If I place the load line calibration on number eight, it's gonna be on 1.37, exactly. However, the problem load line calibration eight, that late, is that when you're really stressing the CPU, it's gonna go more than that. You're gonna get a lot of heat, and it may spike up to the, that dangerous, uh, that threshold temperature at 99. It's just gonna shut off, that's a problem. Now it's uh, idling between 1.359, 1.368. By the way, this is the latest uh, BIOS that is offered by ASUS. So before, so before doing your overclock, I really recommend that you update your BIOS first. So thank you for watching, guys. I hope this video was uh, beneficial for you. If you have any questions, please leave them below in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching.